Have you ever wondered, what is phonetics? Have you ever wished that you could pronounce the English phonetic alphabet more clearly and confidently? Well, in this video, these are exactly the things I'm going to help you to do. So phonetics is essentially the study and classification of speech sounds. And we have something called the International Phonetic Alphabet Chart, which is an internationally recognised set of phonetic symbols that was developed in the late 19th century. And we use them to be very specific about the pronunciation of a word in whichever language we're working on. And some people find them to be the most accurate and the most reliable way to work on their pronunciation, because you can go to a good dictionary like the Oxford Dictionary or Cambridge Dictionary, which are both online, and you can see the phonetic symbols, and it'll tell you how to pronounce that part of that word. So they're a really great resource. And uh, what I thought might be useful, even though the internet is filled with videos about this sort of stuff, is just to sort of contain it all in one video and give you those phonetic symbols and make the sound so that you can practice and get more confident with them. And then you can go to a dictionary, and if you see that symbol, you know which sound to use. So here they are. So we're going to look at the consonant sounds. And when we're talking about sounds in isolation, uh, they're sometimes referred to as phonemes. So here are the phonemes for each of the consonants used in standard British English. Mmm, as in mum. Mmm, as in nun. Mmm, as in song. F, as in four. V, as in vine. S, as in sad, z, as in zeal, sh, as in shoe, z, as in measure, v, as in this, th, as in thing, t, as in two, d, as in do, k, as in king, g, as in go, p, as in put, B, as in but, w, as in war, y, as in young, r, as in red, j, as in jam, ch, as in chew, h, as in how, l, as in lee, all, as in feel. Here are the vowels. As in kit, e, as in dress, a, uh, as in strut, u, uh, as in foot, a, uh, as in trap, o, uh, as in lot, u, uh, which is the schwa, u, as in goose, o, as in thought, u, uh, as in nurse, a, uh, as in bath, e, as in fleece, a, as in face, i, as in price, oi, as in choice, o, as in goat, ow, as in mouth, ear, as in near, er, as in square, ur, as in cure, air, as in layer, ire, as in liar, oya, as in lawyer, o'er, as in lower, hour, as in hour. So if you want to learn more about vowel and consonant pronunciation in British English, then why don't you click here and download two free resources that I've created that get to the heart of some of the most difficult vowel and consonant pronunciation in British English. But if you'd like to continue learning more about phonetics and you really want to improve all of those vowels and all of those consonants uh, in terms of your English pronunciation, then why don't you click here and have a look at a, a published ebook that was released last year that that I wrote that contains absolutely all of these vowels and all of these consonants along with the phonetic transcription and um, it 
covers absolutely everything you need to know with pictures and diagrams. It's got 12 hours of audio. It takes you through all of the typical habits and mistakes that people make. And it's got a huge section on intonation as well. So with the aid of that book, you'll really get your uh, pronunciation and your intonation um, improving and you'll feel much more confident and much more fluent in terms of your speech in English. So click here and have a look at that now. Um, just before you do that, however, if you want to find this video again, uh, consider clicking uh, like. Um, and why not subscribe to this channel? Because I post weekly videos here at 8.30 p.m. GMT local London time. Uh, so I hope to see you here next week. Thank you.